Hey guys, what's up? This is Gabriel from here from AppGeyser and I'm going to show you a very cool tool that you can start using today. It's actually free, uh, the basic plan, but can actually help you to do some research when you're doing um, market research for your Android app for AppGeyser. So right now here we are, I mean obviously you know this is Google Play and here we have um, where we're actually going to look for apps. So right now uh, the, the main point is we have categories and you can actually do, I mean, start researching different kind of, I mean, kind of uh, apps. So let's have a look a little bit at my favorite section that is educational usually is pretty good. I really like it because it's different kind of uh, tools out there. So I'm going to put, for example, educational to see what I can come up with. So you're going to see all these tools out there. Many of them obviously are games that are high um, budget kind of games. But it can actually give me some ideas of something that I may want to develop potentially with AppGeyser later on. Or I can actually go to different sections. So in this case, we have business. Business is always a great kind of category because sometimes business just provides, I mean, information versus utility. And this is actually kind of like a cool idea if you want to start developing something. So anyway, so... I have all the information here that I want to look and potentially I'm going to develop an app and let me come up with a, with an idea, for example, business cards, okay? So business cards could be an interesting one and I have here the app business cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look literally on ASO Desk, that is the tool that we're going to use for ASO and I'm going to reverse engineer this app. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the name of this app and I'm going to go here to my dashboard in ISO desk and I'm going to put the name of the app. So I'm going to put business card right now and boom, here appears. This is um, Inigo LLC. So let's be sure it's the same one. Yeah, Inigo LLC, very cool. And I'm going to add the app and I'm going to add the application. Okay, cool. So this is the way it works with ASO desk. Now, once I add the tool here, my whole goal is to try to find as much information as possible about this app. So what we're trying to do is reverse engineer what these guys are doing right. And this is super important. And that's why using a tool is going to help us a lot. So let's go back to ASO Desk. And this is the information that I have here. Now, as you can see, it tells me by default, okay, all the information that I have here, all the keywords that are ranking. So from business card, from exchange, LinkedIn, meetups, marketing, and it tells me the potential uses per day and the position. And this is a brilliant kind of way for me to research and understand what are those good keywords out there. Now you may be thinking, why do I need to know this? Well, because it can actually give me ideas for new names for apps and to understand if there's a real market out there that I want to go for. Now, if I put, for example, the idea business cards, you see it's a huge kind of market, 11,502 users per day approximately are actually actively looking for this. And this card, this, sorry, this app is in position four. So if I look at business cards, I'm going to see all the potential traffic and how this app is doing. And not only that, seeing the other ones that are competing here. And this is something that is very, very useful because allows me to understand a little bit what is the market these people are actually going for? Now, not only that, it allows me to also see competitors and monitor the ranking that they are actually experiencing. And this is absolutely important. Now, as you can see here, I can see who ranks in the position and how powerful are those apps out there. So as you can see, they're not ranking in top position for all the keywords, but, uh, but clearly they're ranking well in some of the keywords that are there, like business cards, a business card, and obviously some keywords potentially don't, are not really relevant with this, but allows me to do some research and come up with the initial keywords that I really want to do. So organic report, let's click here. Let's click here. Okay, cool. So here we have, I mean, this is interesting. Okay, once again, we see also information that is pretty cool. We see the uses per day, and the uses per day is going to give me an idea of how many people are looking for this and how many installs I can actually expect based on my ranking. Very cool. Now, if I click here, I don't know if you can actually see it. Let me move the screen. If I click here, 
I can actually add and start tracking these keywords. So I can actually identify very clear the keywords that I want to start tracking and analyzing later on. Now, keep in mind, I'm just doing this right now as market research. This become even more powerful when I'm starting to use something like ASO Desk once I have my own apps. So you want to check more information about this, you can actually use this for any of the templates that we have in AppGeyser and go to asodesk.com, join for free, just give it a go and you got to find out how you can actually use this to come up with ideas for different type of niche apps before you start building your app. Super useful, super easy to use and hey, it's free. And then later on, if you start to make some money with your apps, you can actually go and upgrade and get more features and be able to track more apps. Very, very simple. Let me know what you think. And thank you once again for watching App Geyser. Bye.